right, uh, I'm Stampa with Nord Keyboards and uh, today I want to show you the Nordrum 3P which is shown here at the Musikmesse 2016 here in Frankfurt. A brand new model, not out in stores yet, so what you see here is actually a, still a prototype but it's gonna, it's gonna look very much like this. But it's, it's very fresh, uh, really excited to finally have a product that has all in one when it comes to both playing and tweaking your sounds. And uh, with this, uh, this model, it's really easy to grab the, the unit on your arm and run to your gig, have everything with you. It has a, a kick input, um, has, uh, uh, use, use for a kick, uh, with a normal use case, you can use it for trigger or, or any other type of input as well. So, uh, new features apart from the form factor we uh, tweak the layout so it's much easier to navigate and uh, edit your sounds uh, the, the, the building blocks of the actual sound are pretty much the same still as on the Nordrum 2 you get your tone part of the sound the noise and the click part which together make up the sound um, but by tweaking the individual parameters it's much easier now that you have dedicated knobs for both these or, or buttons, I should say, for both these rows. Other news, uh, we got new built-in effects. Uh, we still got the distortions uh, and EQ, etc. that you set, different drive modes. But now we also have delay and uh, reverb built-in, which means that uh, you can set uh, what reverb type you want. Right now it's set to a whole reverb, there are other models as well. You set the, the amount of reverb, it's set to 10 right now, for the channel that you're tweaking. And you can have different levels for, for your different drum sounds. We also improved the uh, uh, organization of sounds and how you can uh, build kits easily. We still have the program mode where you just switch between your kits. Then we have a special sound select mode, which means that if I'm on this pad, for instance, I, I want to change the bass drum, I can change between different bass drum presets and find the one that I that I want for this program. Then I can move on to the to the snare and uh, and set set it to a snare of my choice and so forth. I can go here and set up the hi hat, etc. So much easier to to find the sounds you're looking for, quicker to build a kit. A quick organization of the sounds that you make. You'll have user uh, user spots for for the snares as well, where you can store your your user sounds. So lots of good news with this one.